Hey, good morning. It's a beautiful Monday morning here in Austin, Texas. Uh, my name's Ryan. I'm an entrepreneur based here in Austin. And I'm making this video for you today to talk a little bit about why most people don't ever see the results or the success that they want to, even though they talk about it, even though they talk about what it is that they want to accomplish. I actually think we spend most of our energy pushing the things that we want away from us. So this video is for you if you're somebody who has said they want a different experience or said that they want something in life and it's just not happening and it seems to actually get further and further away from you. I'm an entrepreneur in this crazy entrepreneurial world that I live in. We're always looking for the next thing and the next tactic, the next hack. And at the same time, we're practicing this comparison game that we feel where somebody's got a nicer car or somebody has a bigger business or somebody's living a better lifestyle and it's all on Facebook and we spend so much energy comparing what we're feeling or what we're experiencing to what everybody else is projecting on Facebook or social media or in their blog or their podcast or, or, or what have you. Now, uh, for me, I have this goal. My goal since I was a little kid was to own the Cleveland Indians and my family is mostly blue collar, so that's weird in my family, and so I have spent a tremendous amount of time trying to deconstruct the strategies that will get me to that result. Um, and I don't know if you're like me in the sense of sometimes that causes a lot of stress of not knowing if you're on the right path or not knowing if you're making the right decisions or if you're doing the right things in order to get what it is that you want. And as a result, that doubt or that lack of clarity pushes that further away. And so the things that we want seem to be, to, they seem to elude us. And so we're always looking for the next hack. We're always looking for the next thing. We're always looking for the next uh, miracle cure, if you will. And it's my belief, it's my opinion that the real solution to that, that the, the things that are easy for us, the things that we accomplish, are the things that are normal to us, are the things that are not breakthroughs, that are not anything weird or, or different outside of our experience. The things that become results in our life are the things that are normal to us. And there is no right or wrong, there is no good or bad, there is just what we perceive as normal. There's no hard or easy, there's just what we perceive as being normal. So for me, the idea of owning the Cleveland Indians, if I have a background that says that's not normal, forgive the train in the background, if I have a background that says that's not normal, if I have a, a belief system that says that that's hard, if I have the, the, the belief that that's impossible, then indeed it is going to be. If I think it's hard, then absolutely it's going to be because it's not normal for me to experience something like that. And the switch, the, the, the thing that we can do, the, 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 the time that it becomes easy for us to get the life that we want is when the thing we want is normal and easy. So how does that happen? Well, everything that we're learning, everything that we see, everything we read about on Facebook is our brains normalizing whatever it perceives. So every book you read, every person you hang out with, every time you learn something, when you learn something, that's your brain integrating it and normalizing it. And there is no right way or wrong way, it's just what we perceive as normal. So when you hear people say the phrase like, you're out of alignment with something, I think that's kind of woo woo terms, but it's pointing to the same idea that when something is normal to you, when something is not hard or mysterious, then it's natural for you to do that thing because it is normal. Now for me, uh, a, a quick quick story for me, I um, if I'm gonna own the Cleveland Indians, that means that I've gotta be in a certain place, I've gotta be in a, uh, have certain belief systems or certain things that are normal to me and uh, that's going to require money. That's going to require, uh, I do it through business, that's how I make my money. My strategy is to build businesses and to invest the profits. Um, I build brands, I also 
uh, buy brands and uh, that's my my strategy until I find a better one if I ever do have a better one or a faster one um, but I, uh, I you know I've never built a hundred million dollar company I don't even know how you <laughs> uh, build a hundred million dollar company I've, I've only ever built about a ten million dollar a year company if you take all of my companies together they're they're just over ten million dollars a year in revenues um, and so I know that if I'm gonna get the result that I want I've got to normalize something different. I've got to 10 times about what I'm doing in order to be on the right path to, to get the thing I want, which is the Indians. And, you know, the, there are so many events in this entrepreneurial world that I felt frustrated with because I didn't feel like it was giving me the path to get the 100 million or, or beyond that. So. You know, I, it's not like I can just Google how to make enough money to buy the Cleveland Indians. That doesn't that doesn't exist. So I finally just decided to create my own event, and I, you know, there, there's a, there's a lot of events in the entrepreneurial and the marketing world. Uh, a lot of them are great. Some of them maybe not so much. I know for me, I leave often with a long thing of to-do list that I don't really want to do, but I feel like I have to because I'm pushing all of the time. So I just decided to create my own event, the event that I wanted to go to, the event that would put me in the place where I normalized something different and that would show the path from if you've got just an idea or you want to go to $100 million and every stage in between that we hit all those points. We did this last year, it was called Freedom Fastline Live and it was great. And the one thing that I wanted to change was a lot of people that we had at that event were the social media people, the, uh, the not necessarily the people who were doing it, but the people who were just talking about doing it. And I wanted to create the experience from people that um, were doing incredible things, but were actually doing it and maybe didn't need, didn't feel the need to talk about it on social media all the time. So I've created the experience. It's this December 9th, 10th, and 11th here in Austin, Texas. And we are going to go through the entire process of just an idea to $100 million in every stage in between. So if you want to be an entrepreneur but aren't yet, you've just got some ideas, we're gonna go through how to make that reality and how to scale it. If you're seeing some success and you wanna go from seven figures to eight or six figures to seven, we're gonna be going through that process all the way to $100 million. In fact, we're doing a live case study with uh, some business owners who have all run $100 million companies that are coming together now for a new venture and we're gonna say, okay, what's your plan to make this one a $100 million venture as well? So again, it's called Freedom Fast Lane Live. It's in December 9th, 10th, and 11th. And I'll include some information here in the description area I uh, would love to have you there. If you have been watching up until this point, probably means that you're a type of entrepreneur who um, wants to experience something more and might not be getting the results that you want and you're feeling frustrated with the surroundings that are around you now to lead you to that. So if that's you, I'd invite you to join us in Austin this December. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope, regardless of if we meet or not, that you have the experiences you want and that you get everything that you want out of life. But I hope that leads us to meet in Austin, preferably in December. Hope to see you there.